exciting to see what kind of performance they can turn in here, especially because they let a lot of these power picks go through it with the yeah. tournament that Soaz is having, giving him a gangplank, a champion that he was so good on uh, late in the summer season. I, I question it. So we'll see if it works out for them. It does seem a bit risky, doesn't it? To give them Kindred, to give them Gangplank <laughs> in a lot. I mean, it was clear that their focus was to take every all the toys away from Niels, but have they just given up too much to do this? This is something you talked about throughout the world. So it's like, if you focus one player, one champion, just take away all his champions, you leave so much open for the rest of the team to take. And that was the whole thing with Faker. Everybody focused Faker. Everybody's like, oh, I'll take everything away. And then obviously, sure as hell, Marin's just like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suppose it is a best of five, right? You've got some room for experimentation a bit. I mean, you don't want to give away everything. And if you've got a chance to pick some of these, you just go for it. Uh oh. Ooh, sticks in after a move. They're going to right in, run right into the Wow. They go straight in there. Now the question is, who's going to come out on top here? Quickly, Mithy has to take Pulverize, but Aframu continuing on this one. Not really on the same page as Stixace. Stixace already walked off <laughs> Aframu. The, uh, the baits, I the feel. Luck. That, that's clearly confident from Aframu. It's just like, I don't need backup. I can just fake it, and you're going to fall for it. And they did. They backed away. The expression on Tom Kench's face as he was hiding around that corner was just the most gleeful expression I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like, yeah, here they come. <laughs> I mean, he does have a beautiful big grin on him. He does, great sure. teeth, too, but really. What do we make? Oh, well, actually, well, we'll keep our eyes on this one. Aframu is actually taking a little bit too much damage now, so still waiting for that level two to kick in between the two. But I wanted to talk about the two mid laners. I mean, we haven't seen Echo for a while being played in there. Wait a minute, Niels is taking a lot of damage. Dixay may get caught out. Remember, Mithy went pulverized level one. I think he's getting closer, but he's taking a hell of a lot of damage. They've jumped straight in. The exhaust goes straight down. Stixay has to run away from this. They've got a ward in that bush. They have the vision, but Niels doesn't really have the damage yet. This is all level one to level two craziness. Well, they hit the level two first, so they tried to just get some damage, and they forced actually two summoners early out of Origin's dual lane. So we talked about how, I mean, this was perhaps going to be a big advantage here, and they've already done a lot of work in this bottom side. Oh, Darshan poking Soaz. Quite a bit here. This is going to be an interesting lane, too. Obviously, CLG trying to do with their top laner like they've been doing all day. But how much is Soaz going to be able to do to stop that, do you think? Well, that's it. I mean, this is this is, this is is Soaz territory. It's like it, he wrote the book on it, the split pushing <laughs> with uh, Peke in, back in the day. So he, they, he knows all about it. But yeah, clearly Darshan very much on form today. Absolutely astounding stuff. Like game one, oh, doing a Peke almost. Uh, and then game two, of course, also fantastic on fit. Uh, I nearly said Fwiz. Fwiz is in the house, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. he's, not, he's not playing on Fwiz. Fwiz, a, another caster you may know from uh, the YouTube days at the moment. So, uh, yeah, playing on Fizz. He has been on point. And the question is, can Origin shut him down? Well, I think that this is such an interesting battle because of the tournaments that Darshan and, and Soaz are having, because they have been the outstanding carries on their teams. And really, whoever wins this series, if they can keep those performances up, should be really the MVP of this tournament. So exciting to see that. And you know, they tried to get a lot of these bands in on this top lane bands onto CLG, but it just seems like CLG has more and more top laners available for themselves. Just moving very smoothly to that Fiora. Pretty safe blind pick overall. And it's about scaling, really, for Origin right now and to see if they can actually control this threat that uh, Darshan has posed throughout this entire event. I feel like we're almost back to Worlds again, where in the end it's kind of a, a battle of top laners, you know? Well, the meta never really left us, though. It's not really. It will after this tournament, though. I mean, I feel that has been the beauty of the last season, it's like the fact that the top laners have been a bit more versatile. They've not just been big tanks that uh, sat there. And I know for a fact, obviously, we've known Soaz for years and years, that was what he absolutely detested about the top lane, these big tanky top laners that were just not so enjoyable to play in straight 1v1s. I'm sure a lot of top laners would agree with me, but let's talk about this mid lane. I wanted to talk about it earlier. Huhi on Echo and Power of Evil, of course, on Cassidy. Now, how, how do we see this one? I mean, both clearly have the potential to be big burst champions, but these two mid laners, I mean, they both had a relatively quiet semi-finals. Yeah, I, I, well, I think Power of Evil did better than Huhi overall. Like, Huhi played his role, but he, I don't think he was particularly outstanding in the mid lane. But I think the problem here is taking this Echo early presents a bit of a risk. But when you take TP Echo, what you can do is push really hard. And what has Huhi been doing this entire tournament so far? He's been trying to control his lane and chip the mid lane turret. We saw him doing that with Kindred in the last game. And you see him just 
kind of just coming in here, getting that stun down on the power of evil. But what happens if you want to play Echo like this is you have very good wave clear with your Time Winder uh, once you get a few levels into it, and oh. then you can just, oh, gank action. into the mid lane here, who he knocked up at X Smith. He's right there to turn it around onto Origin. Looks like they're going to have to back away for the moment. So what you do, you get your, your ultimate, you recall, and then you TP, or you hit your ult to get right back into the mid lane. So you can really take advantage of whenever Power of Evil recalls to get a lot of damage and push the mid lane turret. So they can control Kassadin's movements. And again, CLG seems to know what they want to do in this event. They're going to play for turrets. That is how they've won their way to the finals. And so the Echo Pick in that regard with the teleport does make sense. Well, one thing that they've done so much better than TSM already is not died three times or four times already because we've hit the seven mini mark almost and nobody has died. So it's right, no the delicate, delicate, delicate finals. Yeah, exactly. So immediately yeah. they've not put themselves on the back foot. Well, I think that it, there are still questions about CLG's ability to shot call. They didn't have very long to get this roster together, so it's it's difficult to say anything dis definitive about TSM's performance compared to teams like CLG and Origin that didn't replace four members on their yeah. roster. It, oh, it's a bit tougher for CLG as well, considering they just came out of one of the longest 2 O's I think I've ever <laughs> seen. So, Both games I over mean, 45 minutes, yeah. yeah. So the fatigue is real for these guys. I mean, uh, OG has just been kind of sitting around and getting a nice uh, view of what their opponents are going to be doing, where CLG has been playing for their spot in the finals. And it has been a very well hard contested one. We weren't sure how it was going to go after the uh, match against Unicorns of Love the other day, but Mithy and Niels trying to keep Stixay away from this one. Stixay, obviously a question mark coming into this one. How is he going to deal with an AD carry like Niels? How is he going to deal with Mithy? Is Afro Moon going to be able to support him like he could against Double Lift? Well, nope. that proves it. He's just going to, well, actually spat him out, you know. It's, uh, it's diff different ways you could look at it. Spat him towards the enemy. And <laughs> bold. But, but bold move, bold yes. move, that's for sure. But uh, maybe if you're lucky, you guys at home, we'll be breaking out the Darshan song that we were uh, singing just off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure many tales have been written about Darshan pushing the top lane. <laughs> many bards. Uh, but I mean yeah. the real bards that write songs, not Afro Muan, the champion bard. <laughs> yeah, bard is such a weird name for that champion. It is. Because there's no singing involved, really. Yeah, there's no singing. He plays yeah. like a little horned instrument, sort of, but it's not really a bard. I mean, there's no story really being told other than Bard's going to come and take your artifacts and leave you to die. I mean, there's not really a story being told in League of Legends, <laughs> so, I mean, that's not just limited to Bardo. Well, there's a bit of a story, bit of damage down, but I don't think Darshan planned on taking that tower hit. That definitely transferred into an even duel in the end, but who he's uh -oh. looking to follow up, but he's got Smithy with him. Yeah, who now are they going to pile in? Can they make a play here onto Soaz? Soaz still has flash, and he's already under turret. They're going to have to do a trouble. pretty serious dive here. I don't know if he knows this is coming. Pushing ahead. He's got zero support either, Kindred. Way ah, away, okay. amazing off. There's the ultimate used. He knows that something's up here. Does oh. manage to get out of the way of one dodge. He's what he can, but this is going to be easily picked up by CLG. No doubt about it. Solid first blood there. Very well worked. Well, one of the things that this TSM, or rather CLG <laughs> composition, does very well is zone on these dives. You have the Fiora ultimate, you have X Smithy providing zones with his own ults and with his barrels. So it is pretty simple for them to make these plays. And when they don't have a lot of pushing power in the mid lane, who he can push up and then TP right back into mid. So again, CLG, they really look like they know how to play their compositions. They know what their goals are in the game and that they are going to execute them. And I think what's so interesting about watching CLG in this iteration is that they look, sure, Darshan has had a big tournament and he has looked like a star player, but this team on the whole, you know, they've been winning without having a big other star performance and they didn't add Whoa. any big names. And Huhi. A lot of damage on Huhi. Yeah, you got The problem with this lane is that you are going to get a massive cast in at some point because there's not really going to be any shutdown potential. So CLG has to play very quickly this game. They need to keep doing these dives because in the late game, they will be significantly outclassed. It's all about this early advantage. Oh, trying to get the transfer down to Huhi, but he does get away. He picks himself up that blue buff and walks away. I think Origin realized they're a little bit too late to the party on that one. But going back to your point, I mean, this is, this is the thing about CLG. This is what opens them up 
big here. Oh, hello. This is well, a big dive. Well, I mean, anything COG can do, Origin can do better, or maybe certainly try to. Darshan's going to be the focus. Amazing's going to take all the damage to start with. I think the ground sets up Power of Evil to get the kill, but Amazing's going to go down. No, oh. the ultimate will keep him alive just about long enough, and Darshan will get picked off there. I thought for a minute he was going to step out of that old team. <laughs> that last it tower hit comes in. I was like, is he? Yeah, he, he, he balanced it well. And they're going to take the tower as well here, unless who he can stop them. He's going to come in and try and do what he can. Teleports down to the bottom to prevent Stixay also getting onto this one. Power uh -oh. of Evil fancies this. Stixay's in a little bit of trouble. Uh-oh, here comes the rest of the party, but that's going to be out for a move to the rescue. And Power of Evil backs away. Yeah, but Niels, ah, oh, missing a couple of auto attacks due to the tower aggro, just walking a little bit in front of his minion wave. But they are going to do some decent damage here. And uh oh, Niels, got to be careful there. Nearly, nearly gets hit with that stun. Who he though? The one trap between Smithy and Niels. He's going to pop that up for a little bit more help. And here comes a gangplank ultimate. And Smithy there to block Origin from coming in and securing the kill. Yeah, they can just loop right back around though and keep this siege up. Who he had to use his ultimate right there, and now they're just going to keep on. Clearing who he very low. Mithy's going to keep the aggression on, but somewhat disjointed attacks from Origin here. You would uh, you would think they were the new team that was been thrown together. But going back to your point about CLG, I mean, you look at CLG now, they don't have double A. That's that's a big part, and that's a big part for CLG, especially the players that have been there for a long time, because this whole team has been protect the double lift for four years now. They, they are basically, what, oh, four years, three years, four years. It's four years, isn't it, was there. Uh, but this whole team, I mean, we were talking about, obviously, when we were prepping coming into this one, like, who's the superstar, who's the guy? Well, Darshan's looking that way, but they don't need to play around Darshan. They don't need to play around that. They can actually all play for themselves, all be a bit of a team cohesive unit. As we looked at TSM, TSM basically have moved to CLG 2.0. They went to protect the double lift, even with Bjergsen there. So I feel... I feel, we'll see how COG goes, it's a long time in the season, but I feel actually this may uh, open them up a little bit here. So as Grand Challenge getting put down, Darshan's in trouble though. Yeah, trying to back away, Mithy coming in to try to find an angle for the knockup, doesn't quite get it. Well, it's nicely parried, actually, coming in. Oh, so. yeah, right. Well, meanwhile, more action down in the bot lane, Power Review will taking a big chunk out of Huhi, and the Dragon being taken by CLG. Can they get it? Looks like there's no opposition from Origin, so CLG is going to claim first Dragon of the Finals. Well, I mean, they saw the Alistair in the top side, and they knew Cassidy was pushed into the bottom turret, so very easy Dragon call there from CLG, but they are outplaying Origin a little bit on the map right now. They've suffered some losses. Of course, you can look at that CS stacking up for Soaz, and that's going to be quite important because, of course, he has that parlay and so is getting more more and more gold. And have they done enough yet to actually stop this? There's a TP oh. coming in to try and gank Soaz, and it will be canceled. He gets a slow, too. Aphromoo chasing. Looks like they're going to get the flash out of Mithy. Didn't want to get gobbled up this is by buying, Tom Kench. This is buying a lot of time. I mean, look at the bottom lane. That's going to be Power of Evil possibly taking this tower. I can't see anyone getting down there in time to prevent that one. Niels actually got cut off. Uh, six. Sticks did go down there in the end to uh, cut him off. Niels was getting a lot of free time on it. So, Origin, while they're not really picking up the kills, they're kind of failing at ganks. They're working well at taking these turrets down. There's two falling wow. in quick succession. And now the middle one, don't forget, there was a lot of damage put down onto the wards that as well. So, suddenly Origin not looking too bad. And of course, that gold lead very much in their favor. I feel like this is what we saw a lot of at Worlds, too. You know, I mean, Origin just kind of sustaining, sustaining, and then suddenly you see a lot of turrets go down really quickly, and Origin jumps out to that lead. Yeah, I mean, they're certainly setting it up nicely. This is a very healthy lead at nearly 3K. To have early on in this game, they should be able to contest the following Dragon. And considering that they're the ones going for scaling, they've got the Gangplank, they've got the Kassadin, this is a really dangerous place for CLG to be, and they need to find something on the map right now because even their split pusher in terms of Fiora is falling behind. So has already with the Trinity Force here at 15 minutes. Yep. And Niels, they're playing this well. They just need Niels in the mid lane. This is perfect for Origin. Just go ahead, get that Rod of Ages, get that Sheen, because now Cassidy is a major threat to the second tier turret with the Sheen damage, and just have Niels on, on wave clear duty. Yeah, very true. And I mean, uh, Origin, when we're going into the mid-late game, is nearly undoubtedly going to look a little bit better than this newer CLG roster is going to be. So if CLG doesn't make something happen like now, you got to wonder when they're going to make it happen. 
this is looking like a bit of pressure here. Origin starts to move in, getting the ward coverage, covering off oh, this lower half of the jungle. Power of Evil going to get a little burst onto who he is. He steps in towards that tower. Still very much a tip for tap battle between those two. Nobody's really got the burst potential to finish the other off. They will both be able to escape. But this is just all by in time for this to happen in the mid lane. And that's the danger of Kindred. She offers so much to siege compositions. Having that, you know, going into the uh, the attack power, the attack damage with the warrior enchant, and then it looks like building a brutalizer on top of that. So this is uh, this is a very dangerous wave clear in siege comp right now. I mean, and there's there's really only one wave clear that's instant right now, and that's Time Winder and who he's doing battle with his Cassidy. Wow. Meanwhile, who he. Has to ult away, but there's the Gangplank ultimate, and Power of Evil claims a second kill for Origin. Tom Kench coming in, but not a lot to do there. Oh, but if you bring Stixay with him, that's a different story. Yeah, you're not going to get that. Too, Maybe not too much. Yeah, him. there's with the Rift Walk still there, he's easily able to escape from that situation. So the Abyssal Voyage is now down. We're going to take a look at this again. I mean, Power of Evil just gets the drop onto Hoogie right here. And not much more to say, really. I mean, Hoogie just caught. Yeah, and look at that. Really nice Rift Walk out of the stun at the last second, and then turns it right back around. Help from Soaz, and then the Q from Cassidy and finishing off the kill. I do like that Soaz kind of waited until the ultimate was used, too, by uh, by Huhi to lock him down. It's the easiest assist in the game, really, isn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> just like... That's what Gangplank does, man. Just gets those assists. Yeah, just keep those assists. Yeah. The Sivir Gangplank combination just assists everywhere. It's just <laughs> right. for everybody. Just press R, receive gold. That's right. I thought Karthus had it easy. <laughs> Karthus does have it easy, as it's true. He does. That's true, but we don't get to see him anymore. It's just... It's a sad tale. We saw him at Worlds. It's okay. It's yeah. Right. <laughs> Very brief encounter. So as uh, time to keep a little poke on there. But this is the bottom tower going to go Stixay's way. And this power of evil can prevent it. No, nope. that will go down. So first tower of the game for Counter Logic Gaming. But amazing is collapsing around. Oh, Uh-oh, this is all primal oh, problems for CLG. Yeah, the duo's in trouble. They're going to try to get some damage out of it at least. But there's a knockup. And that's going to stop Stixay from doing anything. Alpha move. He's got a lot of gray health. He's going to use it. But in the end, None of it's enough, and that's a double kill for Amazing. It's it's always great to get that double kill <laughs> on a Time Kench. Well, just get the kill on Time Kench. You're like, well, you've consumed him. This is going to be two. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> the yeah. easiest kills you can get. Yeah, they're going to try and answer by pushing in the top side, but they will lose a tier two for it, guaranteed. So saying that from nearly back up right now, and Origin has plenty of time to clear out the two pink wards in the enemy jungle. Go ahead and set up for a dragon here in 45 seconds, and. Oh, uh, they may be going for another dive here. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, who he needs to be careful. He's just, he's okay. That's fine. Darshan doing what Darshan does. He's trying to keep that split push going in the top there, but it keeps getting headed off. So as just keeps on going up there, clearing the wave. It's like you are not taking his turret just yet. And as of yet, but I mean, he is eventually going to get enough damage to start doing that. The question is, can the rest of his team hold on long enough? Well, yeah, and so as here. The true global ult of Gangplank yeah. does stifle a lot of this split pushing, which is great because that's really the only way CLG has been playing so far in this tournament. They've been incredibly reliant on keeping even in gold by successfully split pushing or getting inhibitors or even backdooring to win the game. Dragon about to spawn. Yep, it's dragon time. CLG moving into the mid lane, though. It's uh, trying to kill Soaz time, apparently. Can he get over the wall? He can with that flash. And meanwhile, Mithy comes in from behind with a big knockup with no Soaz. Does Origin have what it takes to win this fight? Power of Evil seems to think so. Here comes Amazing as well. Mithy chasing, looking for another bit of CC. There it is, the three-man knockup. Darshan comes in from behind, though. Can they possibly turn around? They can. Mithy gets taken out. Amazing in trouble now. Drops that Kindred Ultimate still Alive for the moment anyway, gets out of the Baron pit. Power of Evil, not so lucky as he gets chased by Darshan, stays alive for a bit longer before it goes before going down. There's a double kill for Fiora, make it a triple! And now Huhi chasing down Niels, the last member of Origin standing. And with that slow from Tom Kench, they'll complete the ace. GG almost in that fight. Well, they can't probably do the Baron though, which just spawned. And that is actually huge, but CLG taking a big fight, kiting that out very well, and Origin massively overcommitting. Soez was already low. There was no Gangplank ultimate right there to actually box people in, so they're gonna lose a turret, they're gonna lose a dragon, and they're going to give CLG a window back into this game. 
I mean, uh, I think the American coming down in Doha. <laughs> 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 GG. <-G -G. laughs> <laughs> Going back to his StarCraft days, no doubt about it. But they are really great advantages taken by COG. And let's look at this fight again. I mean, Soez just gets uh, destroyed by that explosive charge, so he doesn't have much left. And this is a fine fight for Origin to take right now. But by the time that they actually finish this one off, they're all split up. We have so many people back, so Mithy's gonna get a good headbutt pull right here. And it's gonna hit three people, but there's just it, not enough follow-up. And there's four members compared to two right there, just to turn oh, that well. next Mithy. Uh, on well, Death's door. He's caught out completely, but the Kachu comes kidding. in. And Afromo, <laughs> oh, well, it could be another double here. Oh. Smith is going to get spat out. He gets away to the tower. And now Afromo, oh. no, chased oh. out by Power of Evil. Afromo gets caught. That's going to be tricky now. CLG looking to re-engage on this one in a 3v5. What are they thinking? Can they get Power of Evil? No, not quite. The explosion shot should finish him off. Yes, it will. Sticks they get him. So has taken low. He tries to get out. Darshan, you can't take on five members of Origin. He will get taken down. And that was a risky re-engage from CLG. Not too sure on that one. Right, but what it did do is it probably prevented Origin from doing Baron. So yeah. that is the upshot right there. Because if you, they could just turn on to Baron immediately after getting those first couple of kills. And instead, they actually have some sort of advantage right here. Who he? It's like he wants to go in on this. Amazing. I don't know about this, who he. He could be in a <laughs> little bit of trouble. Well, that okay. Was bold. I mean, I, I can uh -oh. see what he was thinking, and Sticks it may a. work out. And Sticks say, you got to be careful yeah. there, man. Uh, Afro was like, hey, uh, I'm here. <laughs> uh, I guess I will kill this horde. Good, Good job. He, he was excited about it. But uh, yeah, Great that vision was. vision control. That was, I mean, that was a splintered attack from CLG there. They were trying clearly to go with that one, but this is where it's all about. He just walked straight Whoops. over him. It's like, oh, okay. Great patience from Mithy right there. Yeah. And yeah, not quite enough to get him out of harm's way, although you do get Power of Evil underneath that turret for a shot or two. Uh, there's the Force Pulse. That's max range. Yeah, max range, absolutely. Finish him off, and then, I mean, coming back around, they managed to dodge out of most of the Echo it, uh, crowd control in that choke, and oh. Power of Evil dying to that explosive charge, but then going a little bit too hard right here, but again, perhaps... Oh, hello. Another fight already. Mithy in a bit of trouble here. Gangplank ult will push CLG back a bit, it looks like. That Gangplank ult once again coming into good use. This time Soaz in the right place at the right time. That's the problem, Mithy, you know, on the cow. The cow is very hard to kill. There's no doubt about it. But this is this is kind of the scrappy match I think we were hoping for. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, not the hope for scrappy matches in finals, but I think we wanted action. Me and Doe are here after all. <laughs> <laughs> we need something to do. We got two play-by-plays. Yeah. We need a lot of this stuff. Keep going, boys. Keep uh, going. Oh, Huni. Who he picked up by Aphromu yet again. And that's going to be Origin's cue to go after this Baron. I mean, they can do this so incredibly quickly right now. They and are. Power of Evil just zoning him out on the side. Well, Stix8 coming in as well, X Mithy. There's a teleport. Baron's going to be taken by Origin. Will they win the fight afterwards? Oh, there's an Akabon to CLG. Origin turning this one around right away. But Stix8 with the first kill. Amazing low. As soon as that Kindred ult is gone, he is too. Who he picks up that one. Meanwhile, Stix8 jumps back in, gets knocked away though. And CLG takes a kill. Triple kill for Stix8. Well, they're going to get some turrets now. And they All nearly right. nullified that Baron already. Origin tried that Baron in 24 minutes, and yes, they have Kindred that's going to be doing percent, percent health damage, heavy, heavy damage to that Baron. And they had the Gangplank too, but not a lot of tankiness in the pit. So it takes them a while to just finish this one off because it looks like they had a bit of a split call. I mean, Soaz goes out to try and zone with the barrels, and they do end up taking down Xmithy very quickly, but amazing popping that ultimate right there. That means that nobody else can do any damage, and. Unfortunately, Niels and Mithy just kind of left to dry in the pit. No flashes on either of them. Afromu did a great job at taking Power of Evil completely out of fight. That's exactly what you should be doing in time, Ken. Just devoured him very early on. The second he spats him out, straight away exhausted. It's like, you are doing nothing in this game. And, you know, that's exactly what you've got to do. You've got to get all this hype around this mid lane and just take him out of the fight. And it's working well. And Origin, I think, a little overconfident there that really they started that Baron. All they did was damage who he forced him back to base and they just assumed that they would give up the baron at 4v5 a teleport coming in looks like from power of evil is going to try to come around the back from clg afro move 
picks up his mid laner, gets knocked back in there, kneels with the kill. Looks like he's going to help his team pick up another one. No, who he gets out. Meanwhile, Tristana coming from behind, sticks a untouched yet, but he can't go in by himself. This is risky. This is risky. Darshan's joined them. Smithy, you can tell just around the side they wants to get in, get that barrel, try and disperse them around, but they are going to have to back away and respect the fact that there are five members of Origin pushing up that mid lane. There's the barrel to keep them away, and that will be an objective picked up for Origin. Yeah, you only needed that one kill. You still have the Baron buff on Power of Evil, so go ahead, push forward with that. Uh, everyone on CLG pretty much had to recall who he very low after that little fight. And you have decent wave clear, as well as those two AD carries in Kindred and Sivir to try and push down that turret very quickly. You know, it's unfortunate for Origin that they did lose uh, a couple of those Baron buffs because ideally they'd rather be 1-3-1 split pushing with this composition, but at least they get something after botching that Baron fight. All right, well, here comes Dragon number three. CLG has the first two. If they get number three... Origin might start sweating a little bit in that category, and CLG, they need this dragon. Looks like they'll be able to get it unopposed, though. Yeah, this is very easy for them. Origin, they kind of threw everything into taking that tower, just looking down the river. Uh, zero ward coverage, really, from Origin, so they know that it's been taken, but no vision whatsoever, so completely blind. They'd focus so heavily on taking that tier two turret. Kind of gifted that to them, and they've got to be careful, as you mentioned. Start just giving them that. They're already at three, and this is pretty early. 27 minutes in, three dragons stacked out. They could easily take this to five. We saw how scary that was when uh, Jin was so, so close to it. And CLG, well, they realize they don't want to be in that position once again. Yeah, I mean, we're basically just going to be waiting for the next Baron right here. OG will just be able to take it faster and faster every time. That's going to be their main win condition. CLG holding on, but to be 5,000 gold down right now against the Cassidy and the GP, with this mid Echo, who frankly really hasn't been doing very much or proven very effective at all in this game. Uh, we know that the Echo can't stop the split push against the Cassidy, and it was soloed out by Power of Evil already, who just continues to stack more and more damage. So they don't really have good answers to the split push. They don't have great answers to the burst potential in a team fight either. Gangplank I'll use just to keep CLG away from that blue buff. Looks like Soaz managed to grab it at the last second. No blue buff for Darshan. And Darshan spent a lot of time in the tri-bush as well. He wants to get a solo onto Soaz. And as of yet, I think he will come out on top. It's going to be very close, though, now that Soaz has built up a lot of that damage. Yes. CLG, I mean, doing a great job with vision control, though. Uh, they're tracking the movements very well, and they're trying to set the split push up again. Uh, there were, you know, some issues around CLG's warding in the season and uh, at the World Championship, but it looks like they've really stepped up their game in terms of vision control. Oh, nicely parried there. Very well done. Darshan totally expecting that one, but does get quickly caught again. So as proving, as I mentioned, that he has got that chunk of damage built up. Infinity Edge well in the way now. Meanwhile, the, the middle battle, it's just like, it seems like it's a 1-3-1 one, one formation going on right now between these teams. Let's yeah, see who trying. comes out on top. Yeah, Origin so far with a little bit more leverage. So they push down the mid lane, CLG Forest back. But Origin needs to be careful. They don't really have any vision in the bottom side of that jungle. No, they really need to start thinking about getting pinks down onto the Baron too. Some yeah. recalls probably should come through. They need to get some more vision denial. Because right now, Origin is heavily into the trinket wards. You can see they only have one upgraded sweeper. So they have to get some pinks in order to try and secure this Baron because they want to make that bait. When you have GP, you want to set up ferals and have people walk Ooh. into them. Good damage wow. onto Niels there. That was stick say Just what, two shots, three shots there? Just chunked him right down, and that's they've got to be careful. Like, don't, don't get too carried away that they are ahead. Power of Evil going to go engaging onto who here there. Yeah. And again, they're still in a very much a split situation where they can't quite take each other down. Who he's going to try and get away from this one, but it looks like Power of Evil might have the better of him. Does finally finish him off. Darsan using that teleport to get in, but I don't think he's going to be able to catch him. Yeah, right. really bad teleport play right there, but we're still going. Sticks in a lot of trouble. Gangplank out coming in. Summoner, he'll use Aphromoo on the run. 
And no, they don't quite get the slow, but this is all not looking good for CLG with Baron coming up so soon. If Origin can get a couple more kills, and Mithy wants just that knockback by the explosive cast, but here comes Amazing. So as close behind Aframu picks up his carry yet again, gets slowed down and sticks a jumping to safety there. Looks like Origin might not get anything. And here comes Darshan down from the mid lane, might be able to flank this. Trying to catch him around the side there, but Origin, I think they're going to get out of this one okay. It's still going to get chased on the river. The teleport coming in. Who he's joining the fight. Oh, oh they managed to quickly pop out from who. Is it going to be enough though? Power of Evil coming down. Who he joins in the fight there. And now Origin on the back, but amazing caught out. Manages to get the ulti down. He's going to be alive for now, but as soon as he steps out, he's in trouble. Darshan comes around, but here comes Power of Evil around the back side. Who he gets himself one. Can he get more? No. Power of Evil, the Zonius, the rest of his team needs to get close enough to help him out here. And here they come charging in who he backs up oh not quite able to zap him out so as will catch him what a messy messy affair <laughs> wow. well this is what happens when you have what well, a kill a minute basically <laughs> 28 kills in 31 minutes it's just been constant battle on the rift as each of these teams i mean clg they have to keep fighting as the longer this game goes on but this is a great turn from origin because they know what's about to happen to them they know the risk that they're in so they turn on the flank and pick up a kill immediately then amazing is put out up front and what he's going to do is drop the kindred ult immediately manage to stay alive does give clg some heal but it buys enough time for power of evil to get into the back with the teleport of his own and stick say here does fall zonia is used and that means that Soas can get back, get another barrel down, and zone him out in time. Who he... I don't Again, know what you're there. They, the ults from, the bolts, from, from who he have yeah. really left a lot to be desired in this game. And that's going to mean another Baron for Origin here, unless CLG can stop it. Oh. Going in, there's the explosive cast, not enough. Kindred takes it. Origin turns immediately onto CLG. Darshan getting pulled to safety, supposedly by Aframu, but there's the knockup. Who he goes in again, loses a ton of health. And here comes Stixay from the side. Does he have enough damage to push Origin away? It looks like he does. So as waiting to use Whoa. that one. Here comes a re-engage from Origin, though. CLG so low, a kill for Niels already. Stixay, though, you got to keep in mind, this guy can do so much. Niels very low. Sticks a in the belly of Aframu, and that is going to help Origin do the damage. Triple kill for Power of Evil. You know, I gotta say, Aframu picked up Stixay there right when I thought Stixay was gonna I, be able to get some nice shots in. I thought that was so close. I was like, it's two for one, two for one, two yeah. for two. And then it's just like, Power of Evil, bam, triple kill. Instant, and that is the tower. Such oh a dominant, dominant fight in the end for Origin. They did pick up the Baron, remember, so they're going to take themselves an inhibitor as well. Big win for them in really a, a fight that CLG kind of had to take, really. Yeah, there's no other choice right there. You have to try and take them out while they're low, but the real hero of that entire engagement was Mithy, who he's gotten so many multi-man knockups in this game so far. You see, he denies X Mithy out of the pit right there to start this thing off. And then as Power of Evil gets targeted, and Amazing actually gets the exhaust out on him, there's a two-man knockup right there. He then boots Darshan out so that they can safely retreat. But then CLG makes a big mistake. They get into this brush right here, and they start grouping up. And Mithy drops the ward for Vision, W's in, three-man Q. Wow. Beautiful Alistair play by Mithy throughout that entire engagement. Yeah, Niels had a bead on to Stixay there. Aframu picked him up, and at that point, there was just nothing else coming out of CLG. That was great Alistair play. I mean, he really just totally saved Origin in that situation. Chose all the right targets for his headbutt and his pulverize. Yeah, Darshan was not in that fight. He, no. just, he was just <laughs> crowd control the entire time. He was like either bouncing or headbutted against the wall or just kept completely away. And that's the advantage when you have the CDR from a frozen heart. You can get so many more abilities down over the course of a team fight, and it really did make all the difference in that particular situation. So now CLG find themselves a Baron down again, except now three members of Origin have that Baron buff compared to one. And uh, that's that's great for Origin because both Kasten and Gangplank retained their Baron buffs. You do have to wonder a bit too about this Echo pick by Huhi. It really has not worked out for him yet this game. and. So a lot of questionable decisions being made. Well, it's... I understand what they wanted to do with it. That first blood that they got, they wanted to use it to dive turrets and to get Darshan ahead because that's how they've decided that they want to play League of Legends here in San Jose. And But the problem is, is that he didn't get enough ahead. There's still a monster of a gangplank now in this game. So uh, the strategy, I don't think... 
I don't think it was great, but I understand what they were going for. I think it was risky, but it's only game one of a best of five. You might as well see what you can do. Right. A lot of games left to be played here. Definitely opens things up for them, that's for sure. But they are facing a, a 11,000 gold differential here. Power of Evil looking to go on the flank, come around the sides and keep the poke going. Remember, pretty much everyone lost the Baron buff, I feel, by the time that fight was all done and dusted. Long time ago. And CLG, despite the fact they are so far behind, very much defending with ease. Still, Origin just looking to try and find an advantage. I feel that Soaz wants to prop something up here. Yes, he does, but Smithy read it like a book. Yeah, good pink ward, though. You know, just keep setting up barrels right there. You try and control that choke. So they're playing around the vision. Finally, they've actually been able to set up vision of their own. That's one thing that Origin hasn't been great at in this game is dominating in terms of wards. But, I mean, Power of Evil right wow. here. That's a lot of damage on that mid turret. So as coming in to help out. Still got a few minions left, but I think they're going to be pretty satisfied with that damage for the moment. Yeah, the multi-pronged push, and that's going to open up that top tier two turret. Darshan's having to help down the bottom, and he's keeping those super minions at bay. And that's just giving space for Origin to push all three fronts. Yeah, and now just rotating back up to that top lane tier two. I mean, basically, who he? I mean, you can see right there uh, with his parallel convergence. He's mostly been useful for creating zones in this game, but not really extending beyond that. It's been somewhat tanky. He's got his Zonia's Hourglass right now, and he's drawn a lot of cooldowns. But it, it really has been an underwhelming performance. Amazing is not well on Kindred as well. That's a champion that we've seen very much hit and miss throughout this tournament. Oh, yeah. After seeing some fantastic uh, performances at Casper, and this is going to be the mid turret take oh, down. Oh, Stixay already super low. There's a king plank out. Power of Evil comes in for the kill. There goes the turret mid lane as well, like Smithy. Another kill for Power of Evil. A double now, a kill for Huhi, though. As he runs away, Power of Evil and Soaz chasing. Meanwhile, Niels just sits right on that inhibitor. Goodbye, inhibitor. That's two down in favor of Origin. Yeah, they're just going to try and push forward here. They have so, so. many sheens. Uh, they have a sheen on Gangplank. They're going to try and just tank out this turret with the TP. Yep. Well, Power of Evil Coming comes in. in. Lich Bane on there as well. It's all too easy. Origin going to be taking down those turrets. CLG do what they can to stop them in here. Darshan just repelling everything he can. But that tower is falling. The second Nexus falls. The Pulverize oh. comes in. They get launched onto the fountain. And Origin will take game one in this best of five finals.